Grand Pan Pizza from Pizza Hut Delivery. Pizza time. We have been dividing our pizza wrong this whole time. Pizza is and continues to be a staple of the American diet. And yet, for all of these years, we have been dividing our pizza incorrectly. Anytime you go to a pizzeria, they are going to divide this pizza into eight equal slices. However, this is an inefficient method. The reason for staying with such an outdated method is simple. It's easy to divide a circle into eight equal slices. And the reason why we don't switch to the 12 slice system is because of the complex intricacies of dividing a perfectly round pizza pie into 12 precise equal angles. However, just because it's easier does not mean we ought to keep it. The path of least resistance is the path for losers, H.G. Wells. Throughout this video, I will continue to show you how the 12 slice pizza system is the best way to divide your pizza for the health, for the wealth, and for the merriment of all of society. In 2006, the Center for Disease Control conducted an experiment with portion controls. Their findings were that when people used smaller plates and portions, they still felt equally full compared to the people who were eating the larger portions. Even though those portions were 30% smaller, they still felt equally full. Hmm. Interesting. So. Let's do some math. Based on the information from The Calorie King, the average pizza contains, give or take, 2,269 calories per pie. And according to Statistics Brain, the average American will eat 46 slices of pie per year. Now, under the archaic eight slice system, that is 13,018 calories per year. But Based on the CDC information we've already gone over, they'll feel just as full having 8,694 calories under the 12 slice system. Now, a 4,324 caloric difference, that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it's a really good start if you're trying to lose weight and feel healthier. But that's not even the only difference in the 12 slice system. Let's move on to money. Now, if one slice of pizza costs $5, and we typically eat 46 slices per year, then right now the average American is paying, give or take, $230 on pizza each year. However, if these pizzerias that sell by the slice were to divide the pizzas into 12s, then they would be able to keep the same profits while only charging $3.33 per slice. Interesting. But let's give them a cut too by rounding it to $3.50. By doing this, the pizzerias will earn an extra $2.16 per pie, and Americans all over the country would save a total of $69 per year. $69. That's enough for an extra pizza party for you and all of your friends. Hey, hey, who wants pizza? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Oh, great. Can you believe it? I found it on the second floor. <laughs> the easiest way to show that the 12 slice system is superior is in matters of parties with friends. An eight slice pizza is easily divisible by two or four people. However, in groups of three or even six friends, there will always be an imbalance. And that's why it's easily fixed under the 12 slice system, being that it's divisible by two friends, 
three, four, or six friends. Now, of course, there's always going to be a problem in groups of five or seven, but the 12 slice system isn't meant to be perfect. It's just meant to be better than what we already have now. This is a problem that we could fix here and now. <sighs> you know, I could say it all I want, but I think it's better in a song by an awesome band. Joseph Coney! Hey guys, thanks for watching till the end. If you liked the video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And hey, leave a like and a comment down below. Thanks.